Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Go Fishing with me. I just want to say thank you so much for your support in the past three months. I really appreciate your likes, comments, and subscription. We have just passed 100 subs a few weeks ago. This has been an awesome experience for me. If you ever see me by the water, please come by and say hi. I have other business in the weekdays, and fishing is really weather permitting in the weekend. Just look at this blizzard, this is why we are doing this instead. It was nice to just go out and see how much this landscape has changed within a few weeks. I may try ice fishing, but that's really not a type of fishing I enjoy very much. You know, one of the reasons I do this is because I have to sit in front of computer for five days a week. So bank fishing is more like an exercise for me. It's all about that hiking and casting. I have wanted to do some bank fishing sharing for a while, just never had time to sit down and just simply talk to you guys. Since almost all the waters are frozen right now, it seems a good time to start this sharing series. So why not let's start with bank fishing research? I'm going to show you all the apps I use and give you a quick overview for each of it. And then I will walk you through how I use it to pin down the fishing spot I want to go. This is not a sponsored video. All the apps I'm going to show you guys are free to use. There is a pro membership that you can buy to get more info, but we are not going to get into that in this video. Without further ado, let's get started. The weather app. This is very self-explanatory. Pick a day you want to go out, and the general rule of thumb is you want to pick up an overcast day that has a somewhat a temperature change. Like in the winter time, you may want to go out in a warm day and vice versa. The most important thing here is the wind. I use an app called WindFinder. It gives you a very straightforward animated wind map. You can just pinch in the area you are going and slide a date on the bottom to see which day you would like to go. Uh, the color bar on the top tells you how strong the wind is, and you can of course visually see it. Generally, I like to pick up a day that is less than 10 miles per hour. I'm not saying that you cannot go out in a brutal windy day, like this day is 26 miles per hour. If you really want to go, I'd highly recommend go to the side of the bank area that the woods behind you will slow down the wind drastically. If you go other side, it will be a world difference. Fish brand. When you sign in the app, this is the interface you're gonna see. There will be people posting their catch just about every day. It is a good place to start with. You can see who is catching what lately. Get a general idea of what you will be expected to catch. Depending the time of the year, you will see everyone is catching bass. After that, then you see more stripers, a squid, and then crappies, a pickerel, and then yellow perch, pike, trout, etc. There is just this kind of interesting cycle of fish activity you will see. Let's hit on the map button here in the bottom. All these blue dots are the potential water that you can go fishing. Since we went to Oakland Lake, let's take that one for example. Select the blue button and go to the species tab. You will see there's all the fish that were caught in this water. Well, this is not always true, I wouldn't expect a summer flounder here. You can just filter out all these fish that only have one cache. Let's move to the overview. Here you can see there's the most recent cache. You can ask questions about this place. Most people are very nice. For me, I tell everything. No secrets here. The next app I'd like to show you is iBoating. This app shows you the amazing water contour map for free. It is extremely useful if you want to explore new waters like I do. I will explain more in detail about where you should fish in a separate video. Fish Angler. This one will show you the fish activity prediction. Something to keep in the back of your head, knowing when the bite will be on. I hope I didn't put you to sleep. Now let me walk you through how I do research from start to end. So the first thing to do is of course check out the weather. Uh, I always go to the weather channel, check out the 10 days weather forecast. So you can see this Saturday and Sunday is extremely cold. And look at this snow on the road. You're not gonna go out fishing on this condition, right? So on Mondays, it's uh, getting warmer. And the Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Friday is all pretty good. But there is something you have to keep in mind. All these snows gonna take time to melt down. You don't want to go out right after a snowstorm. So I would say we probably could go out in Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. These are pretty good. Friday is also good. 
Okay, now let's check out the wind. This is the wind finder. So this app will allow you to uh, navigate through the date you want to go out fishing here. You can see how strong the wind is throughout the week. Let's say Tuesday is pretty good and Wednesday is even better. Thursday is not bad. Friday is getting worse. So you definitely don't want to go out Friday. Let's see. Wednesday is pretty good. We just checked the Wednesday's uh, temperature is like uh, around 35 degrees and Thursday is still raining. So we probably could go out on Wednesday. That leads us to the next app. This is the fish brain. Uh, fish brain, if you open the fish brain, there's a map. You can actually see all these uh, fishing locations. Of course, you're not gonna catch fish on just every blue dot here because this is a dead winter. Most of the water are frozen right now. So the best bet would go to some big river with fast moving water, or you can go to a big reservoir that has deep water. Those are the waters that are less likely get frozen. So let's say last time we went to Kensico Reservoir, this area, this is the biggest reservoir uh, around where I live. So let's zoom in here. You click on these blue dots, and this is gonna tell you all the species you're gonna expect in this reservoir. I wouldn't certain, I certainly wouldn't expect any bass in this time of year, and even lake trout has already gone to the deepest part. So brown trout would be the only bad. Also, if you wanna see who's been catching what lately, you can simply zoom out to the map area that you could possibly go, and just click this catch and you will see this is the all recent catch here. Um, this is gonna help you to understand what have been actively feeding around the area you're gonna try to fish. The best fish here I want to catch personally is definitely this one. Look at that guy, is he handsome? You know, you can ask questions and leave comments on people's posts. Most people are very friendly in this community. Uh, if you wanna know more information, just talk to them. Let's go back to uh, here. Also, this map actually have a very good thing is they show some of the trails along these woods, like this one. I bet there are some very good fishing spots along this trail and along this trail as well. But the key in the winter fishing is you want to fish the area that has deep water nearby. And also you want to fish the area that has fast moving water so that part wouldn't be frozen. I would target the bridge and somewhere uh, near the dam because that's where the deep water are. It's along this area. So this will lead us to the next app that is iBoating. Well, this app actually gives you a free uh, bottom contour map. It's really good. You see, it's very detailed. Like this reservoir, the deepest part is generally along the dam. It's 156 feet. And like we said, this area would probably be the best bet to catch trout here. And also the bridge around here, there are some fast moving water going back and forth along this bridge and the winds are gonna change direction just about every day. So these are the area are less likely to be frozen. So next, uh, let's find our parking spot that goes to Google Earth. I just love the interactive of this app. You see, that's just amazing. Let's zoom in into New York, uh, Kensico Reservoir. So this is where we just looked before, and now we need to find out where we can park. So these are the two potential spots we can fish. Let's look at this one first. So ideally, you want to park along this highway, right? But you need to find out where you can park. You can actually click on this little figure here and then drop it in. And now you can see the road here, right? You certainly could, cannot park here, but hey, check that silver car. That's where you can park. So you, this is the spot that you would like to park because you can hike to the fishing spot within five minutes. So this is how I find my parking spot, which is around here. 
Also, let's check out where we can park if we want to fish somewhere along the bridge. Same thing, click on the little figure and drop it on the road and just see if anyone is parking there. On this side, certainly no, uh, but on that side, let's check if there are any... Oh, you see this? That's the place you want to park. I think there might fit one, two, three, four, five. Th this place might fit in five cars here. So you are very likely to find a parking spot over here. And you can just walk along here and just go down the bridge and fish over there. So that is how I find my parking spot. The last thing I do, I will put the spot or the water that I will be fishing on YouTube. See how it actually likes to be there. Sometimes it could be very useful. You may find other spots that you didn't know or the type of lure that worked very well there. You know, just some additional final touch to the research. Last but not least, when you are out there, talk to local fishermen. They know far more than what you have researched. I'm gonna end this video with a real story about it. All right, I hope you find this video helpful. Please comment below what kind of research you do before you're going out to the water. I'd very much like to learn from you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Now you know how I find my spots. Let's go fishing. When he put up his boat, he left me his attractant. He said, this is gonna work for me. Is that a fish? This is possibly a fish. Hey, we finally got a fish. It looks like the, his attractant is working. Check out this crab. Look at the fins. Look like peacock feather. Oh, another one! <laughs> another crappy. Always be humble to learn from someone else. I'm happy I finally caught a fish here.